My name is Alexandra. I am the CEO and founder of Kinkatopia, which is the world's only Kinkajou specific sanctuary. I'm almost four years sober. When I had a year sober, I relaunched my organization and I went full throttle into Kinkajous. I realized during that time that they needed a voice. And now uh, I'm running the, the world's only Kinkajou specific sanctuary. It's given me a platform too, um, where I've been able to be open with these people too about my addiction. I got the opportunity to start telling my story and weaving it in and around into what I'm passionate about. And um, it's become this, this really beautiful thing. It was like a year to the date after my, my one year sober, you know, when I got to put my hand up at a meeting and say I had a year sober and, um, and I could feel, I could stand and my shoulders could fall back. You know, I could sit up straight. I do uh, work a nine to five that, that pays the bills, but it's also with my college degree. So I got into a career. I declared bankruptcy. So I started to take back, you know, my finances. And I really started to like dig into repairing my past. I completed probation. So I was able to expunge my record or at least start on the journey of expunging my record. You know, so I kind of had all these mile markers around that time too. And um, that really, I was like, okay. But it was only because of that that first year that, you know, one foot in front of another and calling people and going to meetings. And I, I had to go to drive my scooter around. I had to rely on my neighbors, um, walk to meetings. You know, it's just like, but I knew, I knew that those things worked at one point, you know, and I, I knew of how at least, um, what that I needed to keep my recovery at the forefront of, of what I wanted to do if I wanted to grow.